Fire is a growing monster and it grows fast. Smoke detectors are absolutely crucial so you can get out of there. Should you sleep with the door open or the door closed? That is the question. Many years ago, I spent a lot of time recording control burns. A good old house was a great opportunity for firefighters to sharpen their skills. One house burn was unlike any other. And thanks to my friends at the Germantown Fire Department in Germantown, Tennessee, I was able to help a television station with a story and in turn, I could share this with you. With this house, we tried to answer the question, do you sleep with the door open or the door closed? And this is what happened. Firefighters started the fire in the kitchen of the house, actually a pan on the stove, which was down the hall from the two bedrooms, much like you would find in your average home. This gave our demo some realism. You see, it's the smoke that kills. Most die from smoke inhalation, not from fire. With working smoke detectors in your home, notice I said detectors like one in the kitchen and in the hallway, they can make a difference. As we speed up the video, moving time forward, notice the bedroom with the door left open. Smoke and superheated air moves in the room. Also notice the location of the baby bed, a crib. But in the bedroom with the door closed across the hall, from the room with the door open, there is breathable air which can buy you time to get out. This is a perfect example of what happens in under three minutes. To make this real, I took a moment with a reporter to do some stand-ups. Alright, the kitchen is filled with smoke, the child's bedroom is filled with smoke, and he's spilling up some smoke out here. As you can see, the smoke made the areas near the bedroom impossible to breathe, except with an air mask. The heat, well, it was tolerable, only because we had the appropriate PPE, worn by firefighters. As soon as possible, we moved outside to join an attack team of firefighters to put the fire out. This was all from a fire in the kitchen. So you can imagine what it would be like in the bedroom at this point. At the end of the exercise, we took a tour of the fire damage. And this is what we found. The outside of the door is burned, but inside it's still relatively it's, intact. It's still relatively intact. Uh, you have absolutely no flame damage. Uh, more than likely, the heat in this room never got above maybe two, three hundred degrees. Uh, you know, just a closed door can can make that much of a difference. If somebody had been in this room, the closed door would have bought them time to get out. They could have gone out through a window or found a second way to get out. And just you can see everything in here still recognizable. Just the simple closing of the door. Simple closing of the door. More than likely, yes. In the bedroom with the door open, notice the baby bed. You can see where the level of the smoke was just below where a baby's head would have been. So even though there weren't flames in here, the smoke would have killed the child. The carbon monoxide poisoning itself would have killed the child. So what are the lessons learned? One, have working smoke detectors in key locations. Have more than one. They will wake you up. Two, sleep with a bedroom door closed. So if there is fire, you have a better chance to keep the superheated air and smoke out of the room. Three, have a family plan to escape. In this scenario, getting out of a window on a ground floor would be best. But if you can't get out of a window, you need to four, stay low and crawl out to an exit. Remember, heat rises and there is smoke and superheated air above you. Both can kill you. Remember, get out fast. And if fire seconds count, don't wait. Six, be sure to call for help after you're away from the danger. Go to a neighbor's house or use a cell phone and in the U.S. call 911. In the event you're not able to leave your room, call 911 and let the fire department know where you are. Keep the door closed and stay low to the floor. Seven, do not re-enter the house. That is the job for a firefighter. For more information, or more about lessons learned and what you should do in your home, call or check with your local fire department. They will be happy to help you.
A house fire is a serious matter. Seconds count. Make a plan. Have your smoke detectors. And do your best to get out alive.